Okay, welcome on in. We are back with some more Poke Rogue. Gonna be continuing our endless grind, okay? We played a bit yesterday. 3151. Let's see if we can make it to 4k. We're just picking up where we last left off. So we can do the same thing. We can run away if we want to. We can fight any battles we can catch. Really not much to do here. But I'll just demonstrate how fights work now. What should our Metal Burst Pokemon be like? Sturdy with minus speed? Yes, so any brave or quiet nature is uh, what you need. So I can give you a rundown of my team real quick after we finish this fight. Because I still have to work on my team, honestly. The only one that I have going on for me right now is uh, Wormy. But even then, he's uh, a little bit weak. So I got to get the boy up. Straight into a shiny Kingler. Okay. Well, I'm ignoring the Kingler because I don't want that. But take a look at the team. The first one's going to be Doug Trio. We're still working on him right now. Um, he has passive sturdy for his ability if you unlock that. Pretty expensive for the candies, but definitely worth it because if you get this guy, he can be a one cost for a mon to bring in. And I'm lucky enough to have that as an epic shiny. I gave it Metal Burst. I fused it with uh, our Caledon. I also fused it with um, our Garganical to get Salt Cure. And that's basically it. After that, you can remove it and then probably fuse it with uh, a Poison Heal. So someone like Breloom, for example. So if I run into one, I'll probably will fuse it with that. But there are still some moves that I kind of want to give it to, so we shall see. Might give it Leech Seed, who knows, because I can't really use Earthquake, I can't use Triple Axle. But, that is one of the mons. The next one is going to be our DOT, aka our Chip Damage. We have Chandelure, which has Protect, Salt Cure, Soak, and Curse. Curse learns normally as a Litwick. I also fuse it with, um, I forgot what water type, any water Pokemon that can learn Soak, so like Sea King, Golduck, something like that. And then I also fuse it with uh, another Garganical to give uh, Salt Cure, and that's basically it. Um, its old purpose is just to set up, um, change the, the typing for the opposing Pokemon to be Water, do extra damage with Salt Cure, extra damage with Leech Seed, and also give you more healing. And then if you want to just risk your life and do a Curse, if you just want to wipe this Pokemon, that's some extra damage for you too. Moving on, we have Ray. Ray is the, the legendary that we started with. We used it just to carry us for the first 2k floors, and then we're turning him into a Metal Burster. We gave it Torch Song in the beginning, fused with a Skeledurge, and that basically gave us all the buffs we need. If you combine Torch Song with three multi lens, that will give you a plus four special attack every time you use this move. So that's a good way to buff yourself. You don't need anything like Opportunist. You don't need Contrary. Torch Song in itself in Endless is a great ability uh, a great move to have in terms for the ability ray has passive unnerve meaning that the opposing pokemon cannot eat berries so for something like eternatus or boss battles where they pretty much will heal 20 percent of the hp including the citrus berries and enigma berries it might be difficult to out damage how much they heal so this can prevent them from getting the stat boost and also healing hp back and then i gave it sturdy as well because later in the game when they have a lot of damage tokens Everything's gonna one-shot you. We have 286 damage tokens stacked right now. If you times 286 by 5%, that's how much extra damage they're gonna do to us. So no matter what, you are not surviving an attack unless you have Sturdy or something to prevent from getting KO'd. And that's it. Does your chat window not support emojis? Um, I'm not sure because we only use uh, emotes like 7TV, Better Switch TV, and 7... Uh, no, what's the other one? Frank or Face Z. So, I'm not sure. It might just be a Twitch thing. Because Twitch is commonly used for emotes over emojis. But yeah, guys, that is the build. Hopefully that was educational and you guys got something out of it. I also need to get some leftovers too. Let's start getting some leftovers. That's crucial at this point in the game. And then I also want to see what items I can transfer over. So, Lanoon. Let's transfer everything you have over to Wormadam and then make sure we take off the Quick Claws because we don't want to go first, right? I would not pass up a Rare Candy. We run into a Boss Lugia and a Rotom. I really don't want to fight this and you can't capture singular Mons. Uh, the strategic way to play this out is just to roar one of the Mons away, but I don't really have a team set up to do that. And if you try to catch, you can't because it's a double battle. So you either have to roar make one of them escape and then catch them or KO them. It's kind of hard to KO at this stage in the game, so I'm not going to just... I'm not going to do that. It's, it's a big waste of time. I also have to make sure I have retries on. Um, this is endless, so one tiny mistake can just ruin your entire 20-hour grind. 
So just to make sure, I will enable retries. But yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, good to have you here. Hope uh, you guys have been well. Hope you have a good weekend. We did a Nuzlocke, a Soul Link Nuzlocke challenge run yesterday with Hosh and Josh. I'm currently editing the video right now. It might take me, oh, I want to say maybe three, four days. I also uploaded a video. It's my recent video right now. Um, it explains the whole entire build in more detail and how I went about like crafting it, uh, the progression of it, what items you need and everything like that. So now with that video out, we can basically just chill. But at this point, when you're like late into endless, it definitely like slows down a lot in terms of like the fun portion, right? Okay, let's start with Chandelure. Hit it with the Sulk. Oh, I gotta make sure that I have the Lumberries as well. I have one remaining. So potentially I could die right here. I'm just gonna protect once. I think Chandelure is the one that doesn't have uh, leftovers. Yeah, I only have two, unfortunately. So I still have to farm a little bit more. I will just um, sack. So I'll curse. We'll suicide and then uh, just inflict that. Because I do have Salt Cure on the other guys, like the trio. It's because we went up against uh, Eternas and he stole all my items and I just got to get them back. It was pretty annoying. Uh, the downside is I do not have the leftovers as well on Doug Trio and I do not have Protect. So this is where we die. Unless we tank it. <laughs> we got five Focus Bands, so potentially it could be possible. But there was nothing we can do there. Now we can go to Wormadam. And then here with the Sappy Seed. And now we basically win. Technically impossible to lose like this. I don't know why I protected. I should have just Metal Burst. I didn't realize I was going to get the full health. That's why I turn uh, move animations off. Just because it skips the whole animation for like healing and everything too. But I guess I'll leave it on. I like seeing uh, how it works sometimes. But yeah, since we've been running away, we haven't been leveling up uh, <laughs> our team. So each battle is going to give us so many levels now. I wonder if the hype for Poker Rogue has died out a lot now. Um, I know a lot of people have been getting burnt out on the game after the shiny event, so there's not really like much for them to do. We definitely got spoiled from the shiny event, so now that people got like everything they need and they're going back to like the, the regular game mode where they don't run into shinies as often, I guess it's uh, a little uh, disappointing for them. Shiny Swoobat, I will capture you for your candies. And the levels too. Oh, unfortunately, that was the final floor. So I didn't get a reward for that. They need to rework Endless in my opinion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like their main priority right now. I think the, the token system is basically the main issue for a lot of people. I don't really care for the reward shop. That's never been uh, a bother to me. I never cared about the vouchers. The main thing that we have to focus on is basically the, the meta for how um, Endless is operated in terms of like what teams you have to use because late stage you're basically forced to use like some type of chip damage or metal burst and then you can't really play it how you would normally play a game with the tokens. So like any build that you kind of like craft yourself for like the beginning of the game becomes uh, redundant. So yeah definitely I agree they need to rework Endless in a way that's makes the game like more engaging instead of just like a linear path to just one type of playstyle. I've noticed they removed the leaderboard on the bottom left. Do you guys know why they removed that? Uh, yeah, 27k is still a lot compared to like a lot of games you see on Steam. You go to Steam charts right now and just like look at most played games. It's definitely uh, a lot higher up there compared to most games. Two Blissies in a row. If I could find a Blissey that's shiny, that would be nice. I don't think... um. Would it work for the, the Happiny? Or is it just going to be Chansey that's going to be shiny? I'd probably have to pull a, a shiny Happiny, right? I think that's uh, a few of the shinies that I'm missing. How much are we at for shiny starters though? We are at 59% of shiny starters, so I'm definitely missing a lot. Ooh, Galarian Motrace. I will capture you. Give me your candies. Let's try to get some leftovers. I guess I'll take the pass. Okay. This next fight's gonna be against Mr. Eternatus. Let's see how we do. 
Do you have a black hole? Do you have a black hole? It does not look like it. So, let me play around with you real quick. So, the only moves he can really use that could beat us is uh, Sludge Bomb or Cross Poison. If he uses a Turn Beam, it basically gives us a free win. Because now he has to recharge every turn. So now I get a free um, Soaken. And then if he goes for another Turn Beam, he's basically just trolling at this point now. So I can curse. And now I don't care if I suicide here. So if he wants to, he can kill me. But the focus bit procced. I'd rather just have him kill me so I could swap into him on rather than just swapping in. But I guess this works though. So. This is just to showcase that you can still win with just Salt Cure and Curse. Of course I wouldn't be doing this if he had uh, the mini black hole because I don't want to lose out on my held items. He already took most of my leftovers last time and I don't want that to happen again. I'm also missing a few soul dudes as well from what it looks like. But yeah, that's it. Salt Cure and Curse was enough just to take it out and Sulk as well. And that will net us a Egg Voucher Premium. If you guys are curious as to what shinies I really want right now, definitely a Shadow Lugia, the epic shiny Lugia, is one that I'm hoping for. Um, any legendary that's uh, higher than a, a regular shiny, so like a rare shiny or epic shiny would be nice too. But our shiny luck hasn't been too great lately. I've been running into a lot of duplicate shinies, especially when it comes to like epic mons though. I mean, the candies are nice, but I think it would be better if I saw something new. And this is also our chance to run into Zacian. And never mind, we only had one floor in the snowy forest. The game loves to do that. Out of all the biomes, I'm pretty sure space and the laboratory is like the rarest location to go to. Back on the seabed, that gives us a chance to run into Kyogre. Never mind, we only had one floor again on the seabed. I really want to do a shuckle run. My Shaco has body press. I think it has all the egg moves actually, so in the future I might do a classic run and um, try to beat it with Shuckle. Not solo, I'm not gonna do like an Iron Mon with it, but I do wanna just show off how how good Shuckle can be. I mean the one thing they changed for um, Endless though, they did reduce the amount for the Enduring Token, not by much if you ask me. Enduring token should be changed to either like a 10% chance, because right now it's 20% 20, 20 instead of 25%. They should make it so it's not for every single attack that you do. It should work the way like Sturdy works. So like, say if you have a double attack move, you KO them, they survive on 1 HP, and then the second attack will KO them. Enduring in this game is really annoying because no matter how many times you attack them on 1 HP, they'll just tank it all. <laughs> that means we can hatch our 69 common eggs. The one thing that's nice about Enduring being busted is the free false wipe. Yeah, honestly, when you still need to capture some mons and hope that you don't KO them, that's like the only upside of it. <laughs> I won't deny that I I wish it endure sometimes. Oh, was that a blue cast form I saw, guys? I looked away and then I looked back and I saw something shiny sparkling. It's nice if I can get like a full playlist of like specific mods we use for Endless and have like the full footage from like floor 1 all the way to 5850, right? So right now we have up to like 3k. So for people that are like curious on how like Endless works from like start to finish, we have uh, the footage for that. Oh, Guz Lord. He's the Lord of Guz. I ruined my sleep. Oh my god, back to back? Oh, Zygarde! Oh my goodness, I need this guy. I do not have a 50% Zygarde. So, I'll keep Lanoon in here, and then let me swap out to Ray. I need Ray to outspeed everything and get the Dragon Energy in. Nice. Please flinch. Nice, and then we board. Oh, that's free, dude. Okay, there is my demonstration on how Double Battle works, so that if you need to catch something, that's how you do it. Nice. We got the 50% for the starter. Beautiful. We got like five levels out of that for Ray. Uh, another candy jar. I guess I can take it. It's kind of unnecessary, but if it's free, it's for me. I watched one of your Poke Rogue videos and didn't realize it was you. Yeah, a lot of people started watching my videos too for Poke Rogue that was from like the Osu community. So it's pretty funny to see like how they made their way there too. Blast Rio says, just came from YouTube watching one of your Poke Rogue videos. Awesome. Good to have you here. 
And thanks for watching the videos. Blah. What level should I start using Nightshade for Endless? Oh, Nightshade's only good if you're like at least four times your level. So it might be tough. You're going to be feeding uh, your Nightshader like candies after candies after candies. So I would only teach it to like your main mod if anything, right? So you can see for my team, I'm severely underleveled compared to what we're facing so far. Raise my highest level at 22k. Everything else is like 5k to like 8k. So yeah, it's a struggle right here. And I forgot to switch too. So I'm just going to do this. We wipe on Lanoon. That's okay. Phoenix says, dude, the 195 rival is so hard. Which Mon is giving you trouble? Sometimes it's really bad RNG too because um, most of the time her teams always is um, randomized. So if you get like a bad matchup for your team, that could uh, play a big uh, issue for the run. But yeah, if you made it to 195, uh, you're doing a good job, dude. Dude, we've been running into so many Lugias during this run. Oh, okay. The double paradox battle. This is uh, the hardest thing in the game, in my opinion. So you cannot use Roar or Dragon Tail. You have to play this out. The best way to do it is to flinch if you have a flincher. So let's see if I can play this correctly. So we'll keep Ray in here. Ray could definitely outspeed with, uh, with Dragon Energy and just hope that we flinch. Okay, we got lucky there. If they targeted the same Mon, that could be trouble. But we got one in. Get an infestation on this guy. And then... Yeah, no matter what I do, it's not going to inflict damage. Even if I give myself a plus six boost anyways. It doesn't really matter. But yeah. He flinched. So we should be okay. And now I can swap out Wormadam. Get Dugtrio in. Do Dragon Energy. Hope it flinches. Okay. Oh, the burn though. Yeah, that's the downside of it too. But we still have a backup. We have Chandelure with more Salt Cure and Soak. I'll do one Soak. And then if I need to wipe with uh, Chandelure, I'll just use Curse. And then if it comes down to a single battle, we should be okay. Until what floor are you going to do this Endless run for this stream? Probably 4k, but in terms of the entirety of Endless, it's going to be 5850. And now I can start cursing the guy on the left. In terms of like double paradox battles like this, it's mostly just going to be RNG. Okay, we wipe, but that's okay because now they're both cursed. And now I can go back into Wormadam and start setting up on the left side. I think I'll start with a Sappy Seed, double Sappy Seed. And Roaring Moon is down, so now it's a free win. But yeah, if Ray also had Metal Burst right now, it definitely uh, could be a lot more better. But I won't be able to utilize it just because Ray is uh, a lot faster than what we're facing too. So I think for now, keeping it as a, uh, a flincher, like a potential flincher with Dragon Energy is definitely doing more good than Metal Bursting. But yeah, that's how we take care of double Paradox battles. Guys, we found a Zygarde today. Can we also run into a Ray? If we stay for two more floors, one more floor. Ah, uh, I forgot it's a paradox right at the end because of the 50th floor. That could have been it, guys. The one time I needed a Lumberry. <laughs> oh man, I got burned instead of my Toxic Orb proccing, so I'm going to lose out on uh, Wormadam here. So yeah, we keep Torch Song. This is mostly for the beginning of the game. That's just to demonstrate how I get my plus four in special attack with the extra uh, multi-hit lens. You can get a plus four very easily. Any special attacker that you have for your team as a carry, definitely try to get Torch Song on it. Entei. A lot of double battles. I don't even have a lore up too. But yeah, if we want like a higher chance to run into shinies or legendaries, definitely lures would be to play here. But I don't really care much for it. Blue shiny Lorantis. Ooh, blue low kicks. Okay, leftovers. Super important. But first, let's re Oh, I have no money to revive. I'm broke. <laughs> let's capture you. We need some rewards anyways. I think I would re-roll for money. 60 trillion, yeah. Okay, Eternatus time. Did they fix the money being maxed out at like 9 quadrillion? I'm not sure. 
It really does suck though, because everything's going to cost the same as max money later in Endless. So if you don't have enough to <laughs> basically res your team, you're kind of screwed there. But it's really cheap to reroll endgame anyways. Okay, that is our second Tertus. Oh, Terrapagos. Hmm. But we're getting Stellar Crown pretty soon for a new set in Pokemon. I think I might do some openings on that. What up, is your boy Muk? Ooh, Latias. Captured out for the candies. That's 10 free candies. Whims we got. Okay, our first Flutter main battle in so long. Parish Song. What a silly guy. Oh, it only has, um, I don't think it has um, Salt Cure on it. Only Leech Seed right now. And I don't think anybody else has Salt Cure because they are dead. So it can definitely out heal. I'll just do this just in case because the only thing that can technically kill us is Parish Song. And there we go. We play that with just Salt Cure. No, no Salt Cure. We played it with Leech Seed and Infestation. I'll capture you. Okay, who needs what? Let's see. I'll find anything I need. Protect is the main one. Candy jar. <laughs> For sure, I'll take a candy jar. Shiny Grim Snarl. Ah, I just hit my table. <laughs> I forgot to switch to. The heal from the leech seed is so good because we're like severely low level. So like just one tiny leech seed heals us back to full health. Dragon Sand Superpower V Create, oh, nice. If you have Dragon Dart too, that would be perfect. All right, we're almost three quarters of the way into 4K. How does Mini Black Hole work? Do you have to use an attack in order to steal? I, okay, I saw it prop. Never mind. I'm just going too fast, so I'm missing out. Or I guess four is the max now. Did they change it? It's red, so it looks like four is the max. Heal. No, I think I think it's always been four actually. So a, a one and four, that's twenty five percent of your HP. Sometimes a mini black hole just doesn't proc. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs in this game. Honestly, I'll be more happy if they fix some of the the issues in a game rather than just like trying to push out new updates. Cause we have challenge mode now, and that's keeping everybody busy. Vec is the best gamer. Thank you for the follow. How does it feel being the best gamer? Oh, look what we found. I told you that could have been our runaway mod. Even though we already have one, but wow. Epic Rapidash. I'll add you to the Now we have a full team minus Ray for uh, an epic. Yeah, basically everything here is red shiny. And we have some mons that are fused as double red shinies too. So this is like six luck. Wow, what is our luck right now? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 luck. We're like... What's higher than triple S tier? That's four extra luck over max luck. I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's definitely like a splice Pokemon or something. It's not going to be a shiny. It turns out it was a shiny. Okay. That was our first epic shiny of today's stream. So I'll take that. And it's new too. I'll catch you for your candies. So when it's boss mons, you get double the candy. So this is going to give us 10. Now we need money again. I'll reroll for a uh, relic gold if I don't get that. I will take the protect if I see that first. Candy jar. Ooh, you teasing me. Okay, we need the money. 200 trillion. Ooh, if we stay on the snowy forest and we encounter a Zacian on the 10th floor. Oh, that could have been it. Oh, Needle Queen. I thought you were going to be something cooler. All right, let's fight Eternatus. This is our third battle now, rematch. Start with our Chandelure, like always. It does not have a black hole. Do we have one? No, we do not. So giving Ray Berries now is bad. Yeah, the only downside of Contrary is Endless Mode. And you're always going to have um, <laughs> Berries. So either you'll pick it up from like Grip Claw or you'll pick it up from Black Hole. You might have to like play around and always um, swap out Berries unless you don't care for the debuffs, you know? I mean, if you're playing regardless, um, you can just buff it back up with the moves, right? So even if you get the negative buffs from Berries, 
just do the same moves and just rebuff those move uh those stat drains. Did I protect on uh, a cooldown? Did this? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I I think I protected when he was recharging. I'm not stealing anything with my black hole though. Maybe it's because we're maxed out on berries. That's my assumption. But like, give me your dragon thing. What the hell? Come on. I guess um they don't allow you to steal like held items. Maybe it's only allowed to steal like berries. And like lucky eggs. Took a bit, but we did it. I lost out on the infestation because I swapped out. But it looked like uh, Salt Cure was a bit better. How many shiny mons do you have? I'm not sure, but we're at like almost 60% shinies. So shiny starters, we have 59.2% when it comes to shinies caught. We caught 1,497 shinies. When it comes to shinies hatched, 54. <laughs> Not a Latios. Could have been a shiny. We're still on the lookout for a shiny Latios. It's crazy that they could um, inflict a status element to you before you even proc your own uh, Toxic Orb. So I don't have a Lumberry from what it looks like. Can I steal one from you? Oh my god, the noise from the level up. Anybody that plays Endless knows the sound it makes when you get like a rare candy and use it on your entire team. It's so loud for no reason. Fluttermane part 2, I see you. I probably don't even need to get a Metal Burst in just because of how much chip damage we're doing. Jesus, down to its last health bar. And then we finish it off with Metal Burst. Uh, you love the Endurance tokens, don't you, huh? Is it just me that on Endless Runs it seems like one or two Paradox Mons show up, like the same ones every time? What is the most rarest um, Paradox Mon you hardly see? I would say maybe the trios like Raging Bolt, Walking Wakes, and Gouging Fire. I mean, you do run into them, but not as apparent as like the other ones. I run into a lot of Iron Valiant. I run into a lot of um, the Amoogus guy, I think Iron Bonnet. I think those two are like the most common for me. But yeah, one Paradox left, and then Emacs, Eternatus, and lose all our items. <laughs> He's gonna steal all our held items once again. Ooh, Articuno. I think I'll capture you just for your candies. And Snow Cloak as well. Soul Dews. Oh, that sounds so good for a remix. I love it. Okay, here's a chance. Come on. Snowy Forest, Zacian. Oof. That could have been it. Could have been the shiny Lugia we needed. Oh, back to the snowy forest again. They love putting us here. Against Iron Moth, I hate this guy too. Every time we try to do a run, this guy always ruins it. GG. Oh my goodness, you heard that? They were waiting to get those levels. Double DNC? What the hell? It would be sick if you could run into like the mega variants in this game. Oh please, end it off on a ray. Imagine. End it off on a ray. Metagross. You could have been it, dude. You could have been it. Alright, this guy has a black hole. Enjoy my leftovers, idiot. So I think in Endless, he still has to recharge. It's not like the, the Delta Dynamax beam, whatever it's called. So I'll just curse here. It doesn't matter. I just don't want him to steal all my items, that's why. And we can't die. It's impossible to die now. Look at the chip damage straight down to one health bar. Too easy for the team. Oh my goodness. We barely got to use Ray at all within these like 1,000 floors. So it goes to show it's literally just like a meta to play this game. You got Metal Burst, you got chip damage, you're chilling. Let's get a good mod to solve it out. That is our final premium voucher. And we made it past floor 4k. Good games guys. 1,000 floors of endless from 3,000 to 4,000. That will conclude our session for today. Next stream, maybe we can get to 5850? Probably not. That took us almost two hours just to do 1k floors. So it's definitely going to be a lot longer for the next uh, 2k floors after this. But yeah, I'll do uh, a quick poll for you. Hey guys, that's going to be it for me. I appreciate you hanging out. We were live for four hours today, played a bit of Osu and got our Poke Rogue session in. Do I have any eggs that still needs to hatch? I think just the epics. Yeah, a few epics. 
and then the ones I just pulled now. So we're not going to be hatching anything if we're playing endless because uh, most of the battles are only fixed on like Paradox and Eternatus. So if we run away, it does not count as a, a battle for the egg, unfortunately. So it's tough to hatch them unless we're starting a new endless run or if we're playing classic. But next time we're going to continue our endless run. Got to beat it with Ray. 5850 is the final floor for endless and then after that we can start a new endless run with someone else showcase like a different mon and then just repeat the same process up we still have the contrary build we still have the maridon but we also have to do the soul link nuzlocke on the weekends as well with mr hosh and josh so that would be fun i will be editing the video for this stream as well as the the soul link as well so keep your eyes out on that this is the Discord, if you guys haven't joined in, and here is a YouTube channel where we upload all our content. I'm going to do a quick raid before we end it off, and then I shall see you guys later.